Tonight, a woman is finally free after being held captive in a Chino Hills home for months. The suspect under arrest and deputies are releasing his photo because they're trying to find out if there are more victims out there. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock is live in Chino Hills with the latest on the terrifying crime. Nicole. Well, neighbors say they think it's just horrible that no one came looking for this young victim sooner, and they certainly hope there are not, there are not other women out there with similar stories. Investigators just released this photo of 59 year old Peter Anthony McGuire, the man charged with torturing and raping a 22 year old woman who he allegedly held captive inside his Chino Hills home for six months. They're releasing his photo now, a week after his arrest, because they believe he may have victimized other women. This is stuff you hear like on criminal minds or like shows you watch on TV, not something that happens in your own neighborhood. Ashley lives near the suspect's home on a quiet cul-de-sac where many neighbors say they heard the victim's cries for help. Yeah, I've heard several neighbors heard that they've heard screaming for weeks before she escaped on her own by running to nearby Altera Park. Those neighbors told us they would not talk on camera because they think McGuire is a very dangerous man. They're afraid of him and anyone associated with him. They specified that they called the cops seven or eight times in recent weeks because the screams were so distressing. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department confirms that they did respond to those calls and knocked on the suspect's door, but he never answered, and those deputies never found any signs of a disturbance in person. Over the last week, we've obviously done some real intense investigation, worked really closely with our district attorney's office. Mara Rodriguez is a spokesperson for the Sheriff's Department. They're asking any other potential victims in or out of San Bernardino County to call their local authorities. You know, even if they think that it might not be anything, um, it's definitely worth it to let us look into it and make sure that, that there are no other victims that, um, that need justice. Ashley says she just wished justice would have come sooner for the woman who freed herself from this home. She was in such a horrible situation for, I think, six months or something like that, that she was able to find the courage and like strength to get out and leave and then find help. McGuire has pleaded not guilty to a long list of felony charges. He is not eligible for bail, and he's scheduled to appear in court again July 27th. Reporting live in Chino Hills, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.